Hello everyone, Tutu Mora here with The Why, bringing you tools to feel well in your body, mind, and spirit. Today we're going to be doing a mini class with the stability ball. So stability ball, a lot of people use it to sit on at their desks or maybe you have it as a tool to work with during your home workouts. But we're gonna do a couple cool things, just a stability ball flow. So all you'll need is a mat and your ball and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start sitting on the ball. So just having a comfortable seat, feet are flat on the floor here, hip distance apart. And we're gonna start just with a couple deep breaths. So I want you to breathe wide into your rib cage here. You can bring your hands to the sides of your rib cage just for a little feedback as you breathe. Inhaling, exhaling. Nice, stay with that breath. Imagine that your spine is nice and long. So up through the crown of the head, down through those sit bones. Feeling nice and long as you breathe wide. Let's take one more nice deep inhale here. And exhale. Now, keeping that nice tall spine, we're gonna take a little scoop of that pelvis on the ball. So a little pelvic curl on the ball, but I want you to keep your spine nice and tall. So a little scoop and back to our neutral pelvis. Couple more here, just warming up that spine and then let's start to take it in a circle. So letting yourself move around as if this is a nice slow hula hoop, but I want you to keep that length within your spine. Think about breathing wide through the rib cage. So this is gonna be a nice little break. If you're sitting on your ball at your desk doing some work to take a break and just move through this flow and your body will definitely feel a little looser and stronger afterwards. Let's take that again, other direction. Keeping that length through your spine. If you notice that you're kind of moving with your circle, then take your circle a little bit smaller. Stay with your alignment and let that movement be isolated to the pelvis. Nice, last one here in this direction. All right, pausing with your nice tall spine, we're gonna take a couple marches. But again, I want you to keep that length and stability through your spine. As you lift that right leg, a little balance comes in here. Let's even extend that leg out and then bring it back. Same side. Nice, you can't see my foot extending all the way, but we're lifting, we're extending, and we're staying stable. Two more. Last one, resting down. Let's take that same thing here to the other side, lifting. Each side will feel different, extending and staying stable. We've got two more here to this side, breathing. So easy to hold your breath as you're doing this, but breath actually will help you turn on those muscles that you need. So it's a dynamic moving stability versus a tight, rigid stability. Okay, so while you're here, let's just take a couple bounces, let those hips loosen up. You can even take your bounce in our little hip circles that we did before. Reversing here. All right, so we've warmed up those hips a little bit. Let's warm up that upper body. And to do so, we're gonna get down on the mat. So I'm gonna adjust the screen a little bit. And go ahead and have a seat cross-legged on the mat. I'm gonna grab that ball that's running away. Oh, here it comes right back. Okay, so. Having a seat, we'll start cross-legged. Ball out to the side. So 
Once again, find your nice tall spine. Both sit bones are connected to the mat beneath you. All right, free arm is out to the side. Find a nice long reach through those fingertips and let's start to roll that ball away to one side. Breathing through that stretchy side, breathing through that rib cage, lengthening through the torso, dropping those shoulders. And then bringing it back one more time to that same side. And back this time, let's add in a little twist as you reach that ball away, taking it up and a little twist over. And all the way back. Now, before we take that to the other side, we're going to rotate with the ball in front. Again, finding your nice tall spine. Both of your hands will start on the ball here. I want you to be long through the fingertips. We're going to rotate through the sternum, opening. Now don't let that arm come further back than your sternum is able to rotate. So just find that opening through the sternum and breathe. And then bringing it back one more time to that same side. Nice. Bringing it back. Now I'm going to switch around. You won't need to, but I want to stay facing the camera. So let's take our hands once again, extended forward towards the ball and start to open. Range of movement might be different from side to side, so honor what it is through this side as you breathe. And bringing that arm back one more time here to this side. Bringing it back. Let's bring ourselves once again facing forward here. We're going to take that same side over that we did on the other side. Reaching away, holding, breathing through that rib cage. And back, take that again. This time we'll add in a little twist. If that feels doable, just taking it gently. And back, nice. Now, I'm gonna bring that ball in front again, and this time I want you to just gently start to reach away from that ball. And bring it back. Your ball can roll forward with you as you open, as you lean back. Same thing to the other side, leaning back. Last one, leaning back. All right. So, we're gonna come back to having a seat on that ball. All right, I'm gonna just bring that camera up a smidge. Okay. So have a seat on the ball and then we're gonna lengthen out. So the backs of our shoulder blades are against that ball. All right, so here we are. Our neck is supported, but we've got a nice stability through our center here. You can see my knees are bent in line with the hips. Let's bring those arms up, fingertips towards the ceiling. Now, keeping a feeling of being lifted through the space, but without super squeezing through the butt cheeks. Let's just bring those arms down and back up. Let's take that a couple more times. It's gonna add in that lower body. Last one. Nice. 
Snap. Leaving those arms up, let's dip those sit bones down. As we come up, we're gonna lower the hands. Let's take that again. Lifting through that back of the butt. We're gonna take this five more times, really feeling those glutes working to hold you as you lower, as you lift. Nice, holding here. Let's bring those hands around to cradle the side or the back of the head, and we're gonna walk it on up just a little bit here. And I want you to just let yourself fold over the ball, taking a little back extension, taking a deep breath here. And then we're gonna lift, and I want you to bring yourself into a little chest lift. And then let's lower extending over the ball and finding the spot where you feel supported through that lift and taking it all the way back over the ball. Taking your lift and lower. Extension to flexion. Tucking that chin to keep your head supported and you're not lifting through your neck. You're lifting through those abdominals. Let's hold our chest lift, bring those arms out in front, and let's just take a deep breath. Let's bring those arms up and overhead, back to the starting point. Two more. here, bring those arms back. Let's just round once again all the way over that ball. You can even let your arms hang, take a nice little back extension here. And then helping yourself all the way back up, having a seat on that ball. Let's come down to our knees, sitting back into the sit bones, and we're gonna reach that ball away and breathe. Once again, lift through those glutes, bring yourself up, sit it back and breathe. Down and up. 
Let's take four more here. Last two. Nice, holding here. Now what we're gonna be doing, I want you to bend the knees, bring that ball in, and scooping back out. Take this nice and slow. We're gonna take it a few times. Scooping in through that little belly. And back. Three more. going to check in on our time here. Okay, wonderful. So let's go ahead and bring that ball in our hands. We're going to do a couple squats with the ball. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to aim to place that ball on the ground. So feet are hip distance apart. We're going to start to extend that ball out as we sit back into our sit bombs. So let's extend that ball out, aiming to place it on the ground and rolling it away a little bit, bringing it back up. Let's take that a few more times. Take your time here. Make sure your alignment stays, uh, make sure your alignment stays steady and your feet stay flat on the floor. Three more. Last one. Nice job. Go ahead and have a seat back on that ball. We're just going to come to a gentle bounce, just letting your body be loose. You can let your arms swing. You can bounce in your circles again. And reversing. Back to your regular bounce, taking just a couple more feet, stay flat on the ground. And then go ahead and slow down that bounce. With your arms, we're just going to sweep them out, reaching through those fingertips. Shoulders stay down as we open them out and up, down through the center, and again. Last time in this direction. And then let's reverse. Last one. With the left arm, let's bring that arm out to the side. And let's bring our ear towards that side, dropping your shoulder, ear towards the other side, breathing into that stretch. And let's move that head in little circles here, keeping your ear on that opposite shoulder, 
almost like you're drawing a circle with your nose and reverse. Head back to center. Let's rotate the head to look at our fingertips and rotate to look away. Head back to center, drop that arm. Let's take that same thing to the other side. Bringing your arm out, find your reach through the fingertips, ear towards that side. And ear towards the opposite side. Little circles. And reverse. Head back to center, rotating the head to look at the fingertips, reaching away, drop that shoulder, rotating to look away. Head back to center, go ahead and drop that arm. Let's roll those shoulders forward, 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 and back, and back, and back. Really nice, let's take just a couple other bounces, letting your body be nice and loose. All right, go ahead and take a stand up. You can be all done for today. Nice job. I hope that you can see that stability ball as um, another way to play and have fun with movement. Uh, so use this in a way that feels supportive. Take a nice break in your day to move. And I'll see you back here next time on the Wise YouTube channel. Take care.